Hello everybody, it's me, Santa Claus, and welcome to B-Movie Madness. <laughs> Sadly, Jonathan Knight is feeling under the weather, but don't worry, Santa Claus is going to take over for him. But before we get to tonight's review, I'd like to read some letters from children to Santa Claus. I love the children, I really do. I, oh, I love the children more than anything. The first one is from Susie. Dear Santa, my name is Susie, and all I want for Christmas is for you to die a horrible fucking death, and then have your, then have somebody annually violate your corpse. Love and kisses, Susie. <laughs> I guess Susie is gonna get a bar of soap in the mouth for Christmas this year. <laughs> Don't worry, the next one has to be better. This one's Dear Santa Fuck off and die, you fat sack of monkey shit. Love Mikey Church. Things they have are not going off to a good start, but the third one has to be the best. Oh, clearly this is from a very special child. Santa loves the special children. Dear Santa, my name is Oxley. And I'm a 30-year-old man who lives in Australia. All I want for Christmas is to host a B-movie madness, bound and gagged, underneath my tree. Do it, or I'll set you and your elves on fire, you sack of fucking shit. Love, Oxley. Well, Santa's very forgiving. See, Santa understands anger, anger. Because Santa gets angry sometimes. Such as the man in tonight's review. The 1984 slasher classic, Silent Night, Deadly Night. And as a bonus, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 2. Two reviews in one video, kiddies. Well, let's talk about Silent Night, Deadly Night. Now, if you haven't seen Silent Night, Deadly Night, let me refresh you. Or let me explain it to you. I'm refreshing to the people who have. Silent Night, Deadly Night is about a young man named Billy, who, as a boy, his parents were murdered by a criminal dressed as Santa Claus. So he grew up hating me. He grew up also in an orphanage under the strict guidance of Mother Superior, and when he was 18 years old, he got a job in a toy store. Things were looking good for Billy, until the day that the store made him dress up as Santa Claus, and finally, his mind snapped, and he started killing anybody who he deemed naughty in extremely violent, gruesome ways. See... Santa understands this. See, Santa's not offended that this movie depicts Santa as a serial killer. So all those protesters who protested this movie back in 1984, calm down. Santa's not offended. Now, as for Silent Night, Deadly Night, Santa loves this movie. He really loves this movie. Santa loves this movie more. He loves candy canes, hot cocoa, and hookers. What do I like about it? Well, for one thing, I like that it took its time to develop the character of Billy before the killing start. Most slasher movies, the killing start from the beginning. No, Billy does not start slashing people until about the second act of the movie. For the first act, we get to see Billy grow up. We get to see what makes Billy into the serial killer he becomes. Robert Brian Wilson, who plays the 18-year-old version of Billy, is fantastic. He is very believable in the role, especially when he finally snaps and starts killing people by decapitating them and paling them on the There's You know, the usual stuff. Also, Santa cannot pronounce names, but Lillian Chauvin, who played most of Perry, was fantastic. She was a very unlikable character that you wanted to see murdered, but, it, you know, didn't happen. Not at least in this movie. As for the kills, all the kills are great. Like I said earlier, you got people getting hammers and heads strangled with Christmas lights, stomachs cut open with box cutters, arrows through the bag, decapitations and axe killings galore. This movie, especially in its unrated cut, 
delivers on the gore. This is a very gruesome movie. Now, this Blu-ray contains both the theatrical cut and the unrated cut. I recommend the unrated cut, even though the unrated footage is not as good as the quality as the rest of the movie. It's worth seeing just to see the get you get the full impact of the gruesome killings. The direction by Charles E. Sellier Jr. is fantastic as well. Rumor has it that he did not shoot the kill scenes because he was, you know, uncomfortable. Santa understands that because he was a TV director like on Grizzly Adams, and this night was out of his ballpark. Sadly, this movie was pulled from theaters due to the protesters, and it was looking not only to be a a big hit, but it was going to make more money than Nightmare on Elm Street, which was released the same day. But once it was released on video, all kinds of people checked the movie out because people love Silent Night, Deadly Night. It has become a slasher classic and a holiday favorite for everyone, anyone who loves depraved movies. Santa loves depraved movies. I love the kids. I like delivering gifts, but Santa loves his like a horror movie. So do I recommend Silent Night Deadly Night? If you haven't seen it, watch it immediately. Please, Santa recommends it. It has good direction, a great leading actor, and lots of gory kills. The music isn't half bad as well, especially the end credits song. It's very cheery for such a downbeat movie, because Silent Night Deadly Night is a mean-spirited little movie, but it works so well, and it's an effective horror thriller. But as I said... As a bonus, um, we're going to review the recent release on Blu-ray, Silent Night, Silent Night, Deadly Night 2. Oh, Santa loves this movie, too. Now, before you get on Santa's ass about this, yes, this movie has tons of flashbacks in the movie. The director and editor, Lee Harry, explained that from the very beginning, this was only supposed to be a recut version of the second movie with very little new footage. Basically, Billy's younger brother, you know, recaps the first movie and wraparound footage, but no, Lee Harry fought to have more footage, and eventually we got about maybe 45 to 50 minutes of new footage with the flashbacks filling in the rest. Um, yes, the flashbacks are kind of, you know, especially if you, after watching the first movie, you're like, i kind of seen this before, but I will tell you, the reason this movie works is the man on the cover, Eric Freeman as Ricky, is hilariously bad and entertaining. Every time he opens his mouth, it is gold. His eyebrow acting is untouched. In the infamous garbage day scene, oh, Santa laughed his ass off. Oh, 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 Santa loves this movie. He loves this movie more than cocaine, and Santa loves him some cocaine. Now, as for this movie, you know, yes, Th this movie gets a lot of ridicule. Ridicule. See, Santa cannot pronounce words because Santa's an idiot. Um. But this movie, outside of the flash type footage, there is a couple of good kills. There's an umbrella s impaled into a man, and it opens out of his back. That's pretty cool in Santa's opinion. That's pretty cool. Um. There's the garbage chasing where you gun down a few people, and then there's a decap decapitation at the end. Mother Superior finally gives what gets what she deserves. Deserves that bitch. But certainly, Dead Two is a very funny, cheese tastic slasher movie. Unlike the first movie, which took itself more seriously and was pretty mean spirited, this movie just having fun. And I can Santa can understand not people liking this movie, but this movie tickles Santa so much. If I had to pick a favorite to do, I would definitely go with the original movie. But I, as far as bad horror sequels go, this is one of my most favorite and most entertaining in Santa's opinion. And now I highly recommend picking up this Blu-ray. It is full of tons of special features, two commentary tracks, a 74-minute documentary on the make of the movie, a 62-minute um, two-minute interview with the special effects artist about his career. Trailers and more, even location footage. Eric Freeman takes you to the locations and tells you what they look and shows you what they look like today. Eric Freeman is a great man, and his performance in this movie is amazing in the worst and best way possible. I love Eric Freeman, so I definitely highly recommend checking out both of these movies. They are awesome, awesome slasher movies. But I understand if you don't like this one, but this one 
is a classic and a great slasher movie and a great Christmas movie. You say, how can it be a great Christmas movie when it has people getting asked down by a man dressed as Santa? Well, guess what? The holidays aren't also always about cheer. They can be about the fear. And I highly recommend you watch this with some beers. Oh, 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 yes, I made a pun. And I'm really bad. But Jonathan Knight will be back soon with one final review for the year. Maybe of a new movie, maybe of an old movie. We'll never know. Wish him good luck and feeling better. I am Santa Claus, and this has been B-Movie Madness. Merry Christmas to all. And to all a good night.